1980's Somewhere in Time remains one of the most timeless romantic films of its decade, and a big part of the film's appeal is the romantic scenes between stars Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour. As it turns out, the two stars weren't faking it. Christopher and Jane started up a romantic relationship during filming, though that came to an end before filming closed as a result of Christopher getting back with his pregnant ex-girlfriend. Despite the romance's end and the inevitable end of filming, they remained good friends until Christopher Reeve's death. Of course, Jane was devastated upon learning of the tragic 1995 horseback riding accident that resulted in Christopher's near-complete paralysis. Join Factsverse as we reveal that Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour weren't faking it in their romantic scenes during Somewhere in Time. The Real Romance Behind Somewhere in Time since its release in 1980, the romantic drama Somewhere in Time has remained a favorite with audiences. The film starred Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour as time-swept lovers, and audiences still can't seem to get enough of the pair's chemistry. As it turns out, Christopher and Jane weren't faking it during their romantic scenes in the movie. Their chemistry was very real, and it resulted in them becoming romantically involved in real life. They hooked up during filming, and quickly it became apparent their romance was more than just a workplace affair. The two quickly found themselves falling in love, and it was only the revelation that ex-girlfriend Gay Exton was pregnant with the star's first child that caused Christopher to give Jane up. The fact that they became good friends on set has become common knowledge, as has the fact that the friendship ended up extending to the time of Christopher's 2004 death. However, much less has been made of Christopher and Jane hooking up on set, and the fact that this romance was the catalyst for their lifelong friendship. As is typical with affairs on the set of films, Christopher and Jane allegedly tried to keep their workplace romance a secret from their co-workers. However, according to Jane, there were plenty amongst the cast and crew who were able to deduce that there was more to Christopher and Jane's chemistry than what was going on in front of the cameras. Christopher gives Jane the good and bad news. Jane has recalled the moment Christopher gave her the news that he was breaking off the relationship. According to her, she was told by a crew member that Christopher wanted to talk to her privately. When she found him, he told her his ex-girlfriend was pregnant and he was going to get back together with her to try to make things work. Jane was devastated, though the next scene she was required to film necessitated that she look happy. Jane allegedly had to hold back her tears during filming and still has to hold back the tears when revisiting the scene today. Christopher Reeve made good on his promise to try to make things work with Gay Exton. Gay gave birth to her and Christopher's first child around the time of Somewhere in Time's release, a boy named Matthew. A few years later, they had a second child named Alexandra. Sadly, despite the fact that Christopher left Jane Seymour to try to make things work with Gay, Christopher and Gay never ended up getting married, and the pair were broken up by the end of the 1980s. While some in Jane's position may have held a grudge against Christopher, the pair remained lifelong friends. Their strong friendship grew to eclipse the fact that they'd ever been romantically involved. Jane has been married four times over her life. Following the filming of Somewhere in Time, she went on to marry third husband David Flynn in 1981. The two were together until 1992. Jane's first husband was a theater director named Michael Attenborough while her second husband was an author named Jeffrey Planer. In 1993, shortly after divorcing her third husband, Jane married actor Stacey Keach. The two remained married until 2015 and had three children. She also previously had a child with third husband David Flynn. Jane named her second son after Christopher Reeve. Jane and fourth husband Stacey Keach's first child was born in 1995 shortly after the infamous horseback riding accident that left Christopher Reeve almost completely paralyzed. Upon hearing about the terrible accident, Jane was understandably devastated. She named her first child Christopher in honor of her lifetime friend. Before we tell you more about Christopher and Jane, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Christopher Reeve's 1995 Horseback Riding Accident in 1995, Christopher Reeve was partaking in his favorite sport of horseback riding when a tragic accident occurred. As a result, he was left paralyzed from the neck down. As one might imagine, his life was upended. Christopher was an incredibly agile and active human being who could be seen partaking in a variety of sportsmanlike activities in the years leading up to his paralysis. Besides horseback riding, the star also enjoyed scuba diving, skiing, sailing, and cruising around the Atlantic on his plane. Of course, his tragic 1995 accident put an end to all these hobbies, and quite a bit else for the actor. Only a week prior to it, a film starring Christopher had been released called Above Suspicion. 
In the film, Christopher played a policeman who wound up getting shot and paralyzed by the picture's end. The coincidence of the film's release and the actor's accident didn't go unnoticed. Despite the release of his film merely a week before the accident, many say the star started getting into horseback riding more and more in the 90s as a result of his failing career. While the actor had risen to prominence portraying Superman in a series of feature-length films, Christopher had a hard time finding roles outside of those movies. Christopher's first and only wife was Dana Reeve. In the early 90s, Christopher Reeve married first and only wife, Dana. They went on to have a son together before Christopher's accident. Their son's name is William. According to Christopher, his injuries were so grave after the accident that his mother seriously considered pulling the plug on him. At the time, Christopher was unable to speak and his future looked grim. But the actor did manage to pull through. However, he still considered suicide as a result of his nearly complete paralysis. Dana was supportive of her husband throughout his accident, and she and Christopher remained married until his death. The two had only been married for a few years prior to the accident, and Christopher's paralysis changed the dynamic of their relationship a great deal. But the pair were thankfully able to find a way to make things work. Jane Seymour's Reaction when Jane Seymour heard about Christopher Reeve's paralysis, she was so devastated she named her aforementioned second son after him. According to Jane, she could barely function after hearing the news. Christopher Reeve's legacy remains strong. In 1999, Christopher Reeve and his wife founded the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, which continues to work alongside the American Paralysis Association. This foundation's goal remains the fundraising of money to benefit further research into curing the kind of spinal cord injury that caused Christopher's paralysis. This is one of many ways the actor was able to turn his tragedy into something positive, and the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation is just as active as ever today. After the accident, Christopher tried his best to maintain some normalcy in his life. This included wife Dana and third son William, as well as ex-girlfriend Gay Exton and their kids Matthew and Alexandra. Of those kids, Alexandra has been the most vocal about what it was like growing up with her father both before and after the accident. According to her, Christopher always did his best to ensure that she and her siblings had a normal life outside of the Hollywood sphere, and her father made sure his accident didn't shake up their routine. Christopher Reeve passed away in 2004. He was 52. Two years later, wife Dana passed away at 44. She died from lung cancer, though she had never been a smoker. All three of Christopher's kids are still around, and of course, so is Jane Seymour. She's currently 71 and has a harder time watching somewhere in time than ever in the wake of her ex-lover and longtime friend's tragic passing. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour hooked up on the set of Somewhere in Time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.